Hello, this is Battleludes, and I'm going to be talking about three of my favorite commands, the slash scoreboard, slash t, and the slash tag commands. So, the first one we are going to be getting into is the slash scoreboard command. So, there's two options as you go into it. There's objectives, and there's also players. So, for objectives, first we're just going to add and then we can name it. So for this one, we are just going to name it kills, and then we can change the criteria for it. For example, it could be the amount of armor you can ha have, the amount of food they have, health. It can be a ton of different things, like their level. But um, for this one, we are going to do kills. Where is it? So player kills. And then we're not going to do a display name for now. Another thing you can do is if we add another objective here, which we will name just like wins, then we can do a dummy, which means that it won't change on its own. It will have to be changed through commands. And then if we go to scoreboard, objectives, the other things we can do is we can list them, modify them, remove them, so just like get rid of them, or we can make, or we can set them to display. So if we do set display and we do on the list and deaths, oops, I mean kills, then you can see in the chat it says I have zero kills because I haven't killed anyone. And then also if we actually, then if you go to players instead of objectives, then you can add certain objectives to them for like example kills. So you could add more kills. So I can make it ten and then it shows ten there. Or I could also just set it to be something, or list it, remove it, reset their kills, stuff like that. This is where you would be able to change how much a dummy criteria scoreboard is. So we can just add wins three, and then if we do slash scoreboard objectives. Set display, sidebar, wins. And you can see on the sidebar it shows who has the most wins and it goes down. Now for the slash team command, which is quite simple, I do a slash team, then you can add a team. So normally this would be a color like red. could be like it could be anything really and then after you add one you can join it and choose to join red you can also remove one like I have this extra red I can get rid of that one And then if we also do team, we can empty it. So if we do empty red, then it will kick all the players off of it. So you can also do leave, which just leaves the team that you're on. List, list all the teams, modify changes their display name or their name. So and then remove just gets rid of one. So we're going to rejoin red. And then you can do slash team message. And you can say whatever you want. And you can see here it just says from the team red. This the person and then what they said. And that will broadcast to everyone that is on team red. But if you're not on a team.
then we need to try and do a team message. It says you must be on the team to message your team. Okay, the last command is the slash tag command, which is quite simple. All you can have to do is you can just add any word to a person's name. So like if we do just add to me, we could add like um we could add like different kids like we could add a kit underscore um frog I don't know. Then if we have a command block if we get two of them if we have two and then one of them has the um, one's only targeted towards the person that has the tag, then it will only give the person with that tag it. So here I have a command block that sets the first slot in the hotbar of everyone with that tag to a diamond sword. Here we have it. All we have is just tag equals and then the, the tag which you have. And so then if we remove the tag, so let's tag as remove that one, then you can see that we can remove this and it won't give us another sword. But then again, if we add it back, then it will keep going into our inventory. So this can be very useful because unlike the team command, you can have multiple tags at one time. For example, tag s add person or like admin and then you can just also list all of them you can see here i have admin person and that kit so it can be very useful when making mini games here we are going to be making a simple mini game using the commands that we talked about. And I'm just going to be making a similar version of the walls duel in Hypixel. First we are going to make a scoreboard objective of how many points the person has. So we are just going to make this one a dummy so we can set it ourselves. Okay, now I'm just having this command block, which has a scoreboard and it adds one point to the blue team, that should be the red team, when they get to the side, when it gets activated, it will add them to one point. And then we can copy this over to here and just switch this one to blue instead and then we will have a command block here that is just going to um, actually and switch this one to a repeating instead and then what it's also going to do is it's going to check their distance so that it has to be less than three. This is just a number, a uh, test number. It might change. And then we are going to add them one point. And then after that, we are going to TP, actually, we're going to have two command blocks here, one which we are going to use to TP the closest player that is on the blue team to their spawn point. So we are just going to keep it like that for now. And then we're going to do the same thing here except for for red team. 
then we just need to find the coordinates and put them in their respective spawn points. Okay, I added the coordinates in for where I want them to spawn, and then I also set them to be conditional. That's why they look like this, because then it would only give them points if someone actually went in, specifically someone on the opposite team. Okay, now we are going to test it out. So we are going to join Team Red. And we are going to try jumping into the blue pit thing. And it didn't do anything. So, reason why it didn't do anything might be because the team was messed up. But also, if we change the game rule, send command feedback so we can see if we actually have the tag item team. One sec. All right, I have fixed the problem, so now if I fall in here, it teleports me out and gives me some points. Now, the next thing we want to do is I want to make it so that there are kits you can choose from. And so we can use the tag command for that. So I'm going to make that now. Okay, I just added the commands that makes it so that it tags the person with what the kit they chose. And now I'm going to make it so that when the map resets, it will give you all the items for your kit. Right now I added it so that depending on which kit you have selected, it gives you certain items. Like for example, if I have this one selected, it gives me all this stuff. If I have the builder kit selected, then it should give me it. I, I messed up on this part. Just need to that. And then it should give me all my stuff. One sec. Alright, I got it to work now. So if we go to here, you can see it gives us all the armor for the sword one. And then if we activate that and then activate it again, it will give us all of that, the gear for the next one, and same thing with that last one. And so this is why all those commands can be extremely useful when building mini games. And that's going to do it.